Hello YouTube and welcome back to Yesteryear Dudes Gaming Channel where we play video games of the yesteryears and play video games of the current and modern time. Today we'll be playing Romancer 3 Kingdom Part 9 again. So yeah, let's just jump right in and play it. So for those of you who don't know, I've already started another um, Let's Play of the Romancer 3 Kingdom game. Um, for my other, my other videos. It's called the um, Long of the Han one. Or it's technically called Restoring the Han as Dobe, but it's the scenario where I play, as, I play called Long Live the Han. If you haven't seen that one yet, please check it out before you check out this one. That one is a little bit further into the, into the game than this one, so you won't be as lost if you don't know what this game is. And uh, for those of you who have seen the video, I briefly mentioned in the beginning of the first video, if I recall correctly, that I, was, I wanted to play a Let's Play on the snail that haven't been unlocked yet. But now I've unlocked it because I, for some time this past, I was able to beat the game. So I'm gonna play that with you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. So yeah, let's go. And then, oh yeah, and obviously I'm gonna add in my fictional character again. My self. <laughs> yes, to you, dude. Obviously. So yeah, um, let's go to the game. And the scenario that I did unlock, well, I unlocked four, but I'm gonna play one, and it's an IF again. In fiction, for those, those of you who don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and it's called the uh, the House of Tao. This one right here. So this one is based off right after the death of Guan Yu, when he attempts to attack North um, to, to attempt to join his um, sworn brother Liu Bei, but he was repelled by Tao Ren and Tao Tao. Uh, right after that, Tao Tao died um, due to his um, severe head um, headaches and um, from his head, <laughs> essentially his head headaches. So he passed away. And in history, Tao Pi, his, uh, his son, was the su successor, so he was given the throne. But in this scenario, the brothers tear the country apart. The four brothers divide the country into four smaller states, which is extremely counterproductive to what Tao Tao has done. That's why I want to play this uh, scenario, it's really interesting. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing as one of the Tao brothers, Tao Zeng to be, specifically, to, to be more specific. I'll show you guys the pictures in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's basically what this um, scenario is about. I'm gonna play as Tao. I'm, I'm gonna play as Tao Zeng and try to unite the Wei State again and then destroy the two other kingdoms. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll show you guys. So this is pretty, pretty much just what I said from before. So here are the the four brothers. I'll let you guys see them for just a little bit. So there they are: Tao Pi, Tao Zeng, Tao Zi, and Tao Zong. I'm going to be playing as Tao Zhang, the, the, the one who's best at uh, military. He is the one right here, on the top here. So I'm going to play as him. Then I want to attempt to you know, kick him out of the brother's asses and retake the, the kingdom. <laughs> Basically that's pretty much it, the gist of it. So yeah, so let's deselect these guys. And I'm just, oh, just going to play as him. So this should be pretty fun. And I'm going to again add myself. Uh, yes, there you dude. Yep, perfect. And he's, he's gonna go right here and pin, ping you on. Ping you on. Perfect. Okay. And then, let's see next. Obviously, Lava's gonna be an expert. I don't like playing on beginner mode. If, you, if you've seen, again, if you've seen my other video, I've explained why I don't want to play in beginner mode. Yeah, it's just too lazy in, on the beginner mode. It takes them too long to attack me, so I'm gonna play in expert mode. I've played this game so many times now that I've been that I'm pretty confident that I'm I know what the mechanics are or whatnot. <laughs> Again, messages and pause. The mode will be in historical mode. I want to make sure that lifespan, relationships, brotherhood, all that stuff, all that good stuff is accurate to the extra history. My mission is on all. Obviously, I don't want you guys to hear the controller vibration. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, jump into the game and see what happens. Chi 
，华北从此一分为四，与刘备、孙权间的势力均衡因此骤变。就如同曾经被曹操所灭的袁家，曹家也走上了相同的命运。为了继承的问题，自家人反目成仇而分裂。时为西元二二零年，东汉建安二十五年。There we go. The narrated, the narrated, fantastic job explaining the the prelude to the scenario, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the basis of it.、Um, the sh the balance of power has completely shifted. <laughs> used to be the、um, Tao Tao who has the upper hand, but now it's anybody's game. So yeah,、um, on about Tao Tao, what are your orders? Sorry, I was supposed to be reading this, but I kind of completely forgot. <laughs> <laughs> My mind was at a blank, so yeah, sorry about that. I don't know what to tell you. To tell, tell you what to tell you what to order. So、um, yeah, let's begin this game. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reward myself. I don't want. I want to make sure that my my officer doesn't abandon me because his loyalty is pretty low at 71. So I'm give him the reward just to make sure that he stays with me. I suppose I used a little bit of this.、Uh, <laughs> I read it wrong. A little bit for this. Yes,、yeah, so、you do. Loyalty is increased from 77, so that's good. He went up at six, and like. And like how I always play, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much recruit troops, increase my number of troops inside each castle, and then st strategically look at the map and take on the enemy with prudence, so I won't muck it up. <laughs> okay, so this scenario is quite quite intriguing because all of the Wei officers, you know, Zhang Hong, Zhu Huo, Shi Hao Dun, Sima Yi. They all are enemies now. They're no longer they're, they're no longer from friends. They fought alongside each other, bled alongside each other for thirty plus years, and now they're enemies. And now, in a blink of an eye, they all hate each other now because of four little brats, <laughs> essentially. Oh yeah, and this guy is pretty cool too. <laughs> Wazao, forgot about him. <laughs> so yeah, I I I will do a run through of like. The four brothers and what officers they have. I believe the best officer I I have under my control or my command is Cao Zheng himself, the, the faction leader. I have、uh, Hua Zhao, like you just saw, and I think I have Zhu Hua as well. Yeah, my my,、oh, damn it! I think I can't check my officers because I've already used them. Okay, I'll wait till the next turn. <laughs> yeah, those. Oh yeah, and I also have Zhu Shu too, the commander of Pin Yuan, and also myself. But anyways, like so let's let's turn it on. We go to the actual individual officers next round. So as you can see, the Wei Kingdom is now completely divided. The same thing that Yun Shao, the、uh, Yun Shao's sons, went through. They tore up their father's state up here. When Yun Shao died as well, and then、uh, Tata was able to pretty much annihilate them due to their distinction. Okay, next turn. Here we go. Turn number two. So this guy is pretty good too, Zhang Yao. He's my wo current warlord, I believe. There's, a,、um, it comes to my attention that there may be a real item that's the Oscar Yi. Yi, let's see what Yi is. So Yi, it's it's just right here. So it should be around here somewhere. But I'll check it later. Like again, like I said, let me just go run through and check the officers. So、oh, my officers that I have, are, that are, in my opinion, that are the best is Zhu Shu, myself. Oh, this guy is pretty good too. Tian Yu, he's pretty good at um riding horses. Sorry about that, <laughs> almost burped. <laughs> at riding horses, yeah, he's really he has really good home、um, horse tactics. But yeah, so so again, like I said, I'm just gonna、um, drill again. Oh, not drill, draft more troops, increase my troop numbers immensely because we're gonna go to war soon. The way state is in chaos, and in, in this castle is Cao Zheng and Zhu Huo. Yep, these two officers are the best. I mean, this guy—he's good too. He's a good politician. He's good. He's, he has high intelligence. He's useful. But the two that's going to be the, the, the two that's going to be doing the heavy lifting is these, these two guys. These two guys. So yeah.、Uh, and other than that, I don't think I have.、Uh, obviously, Huazao's、uh, over here. God damn it! <laughs> Stupid castle is not going、like、the way I want. Huazao. And everybody else in the back, you know, is just expendable. 
weak officers. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, let's jump right back into it. Let's draw. Yep. Okay, let's go to the next castle. Drop again. Twelve thousand over here and uh, Niang P. Again, let's recruit troops. Oh, let's make it fourteen hundred. I want to make sure I can recruit as much troop at the at the smallest smallest amount of time because I need to wage my war pretty quickly. My plan for this new is what is my plan? <laughs> I, I I've played this new before, but I, I've never played as um again like I said I've never played as any of the top any of the top brothers because when I was younger I was more of a shoe fanboy so. <laughs> To be quite frank, I was more of a shoe fanboy. I didn't, I didn't like playing um, the way state or anything that anything or anybody that associated with the way state. I was a giant, giant shoe fanboy. So I will, I've played this before, but I played it as the shoe you know. And I and I will do a uh, let's play on that as well. This same exact scenario, but this time I'm gonna play as shoe. The kingdom over here. The green kingdom over here with with the riverlands and stuff. Yep. Okay, let's go back to my area. Okay, I think I've already... Yep, so all the monsters are already been used. So my plan for this playthrough is to in increase my troops, transport the majority of my troops over here to um, Beiping, and then attack this guy first. Gong Song Gong, because he could be a thorn in my side. He is relatively weak. He only has four officers. He's very, very weak. Not relative, he's on the contrary, he's very, very weak. No, no talented officers, very, very weak leadership, and very, very weak and poor po politics also, so they won't be able to do much, and I'm going to be able to, I'm going to swoop in and just destroy them as quickly as, quickly as possible. Now one thing that I know for sure, for a fact, is that Tao Pi and uh, Tao, Tao Z is already at war with each other, so these two brothers are fighting each other already, and Tao Pi is at war with um, Liu Bei too, and Liu Bei is still angry at Sun Quan for killing his brother obviously and taking over Jing province <laughs> so yeah that's pretty so they're pretty much they're pretty tangled in their endeavor to try to conquer each other that leaves me room to to kill my flank I, I'm not worried about this guy this guy up here Wu Wang because he is his relationship with me is um, trusted I believe let me just give it a check not titles or forces there we go so it is trusted so he won't, he is like, we're like BFFs, <laughs> so he won't mess with me for a long time. So he gives me ch a chance to take out Gong Song Su, Gong Song, Gong Su Song, Gong Su Gong I mean, and then go down to attack my brother from down here, who is Akuma Bogobi. That means he's pretty in a pretty good relationship with me, but I don't care, I'm still gonna attack him. I'm gonna wait until it goes, to, it drops to normal first, or, or neutral, yeah, natural or neutral, and then, then, I'll, then I'll wish I'll, I'll launch an, att an attack on him. Because I know for sure that I, I mean I, I could attack Taopi, but I don't want to attack Taopi yet. I want to use Taopi as a barrier, as a natural barrier. Because if I attack Taopi, then eventually I will meet Liu Bei, and I don't want to mess with Liu Bei for reasons I'm not gonna say. <laughs> wait till I play my Liu, uh, wait wait till I play this scenario again as Liu Bei, then I'll talk about it in more detail. But again, like I said, I'm gonna use Taopi as a natural barrier and push down south and try to take on Sun Quan. That's my plan. Secure, secure flank, move down south. So let's enter. Okay, turn number three now. I believe that um, Sima Yi is still with Taopi, and who else? Who else was who's still with Taopi? Oh, Tao Ren. I remember it's Tao Ren because Tao Ren is Tao Ren guards this castle right here. Yeah. Taopi guards this castle. No, not Taopi. Tao Ren. <laughs> Tao Ren guards this castle. I believe Sima Yi is in Luoyang. With Taopi? Nope, he's not. He's he should be Zhu Cheng down here. Zhu Cheng, hopefully, maybe. No, I was wrong again. Maybe here for the third time. <laughs> here, Wong, or maybe up here at Chang'ai. I think he is up here at Chang'ai. Let's check. I'm wrong again. Geez, I suck at this. <laughs> maybe here, Wong. Oh, but Zhang Hang is here, so yeah. Zhang Hong, Cao Ren, Cao Pi. Where is he? I know for a fact that he is. He is. Um. Oh my God! He, and I forgot Cao Pi has a Zeng Liao too. 
Jesus Christ, Aiden Zamiel. He's a really good officer, talented. He, for those of you who don't know, he fought for Dong Zhou and then Lu Bu, and eventually joined the Awakening. But well, wherever, wherever Top he is, I, I, I know for sure that he is um with Top he He's still part of the true blue way fashion. <laughs> I know that um, this brother here has Shahadun. I believe that's the only officer that's really a threat. Chin Yu too, but Chin Yu is not more. He's not a warrior. He's more of a politician. He's he was the guy who didn't want Cao Cao to change the dynasty. <laughs> he was he was not for that at all. He he he, he felt that he kind of felt bad that the Han Dynasty was going to get changed too. Or that the Han Dynasty was declining so much that it was eventually going to get changed, and then Cao Pi did actually change it in history. Oh, but that time was already long gone. He was he passed away already. Yeah, so I'm just checking the, checking through the officers. Yeah, I, I believe that this brother only has Shah Dun and Ching Yu. Who I surely oops, sorry about that. That's my phone. <laughs> um, who he's who's really going to be a problem for me because I am planning to attack them soon. And this guy over here, I, I, only, I believe only has Yu Jin, who is a good officer. Oh, not even Yu Jin, just Cao Hong. Oh yeah, Yu Jin is right here. Yep, Yu Jin, Yu Jin and Cao Hong. The only two officers I think that's fairly decent. Everybody else is Cao Cao. There he is, Cao Zhang. He sucks. <laughs> Anyways, back to our faction. Let's just continue. Uh, no more troops here now, so I'm gonna start sending troops out. 5,000 men up here. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send just myself and Tianyu, and I'm gonna send 10,000 troops up here to Beiping. By the way, I need to take care of Gong Su Gong. I don't want to give him too much time to break, um, draft more troops to where he goes over 20,000. Because if he goes over 20,000, then the AI will come out and fight him on field. And over here, I'm gonna send Cao Zhang, Cao Zhang, Zhu Hua, and who else? And this guy right here. And I'm gonna send 15,000 men. 15, 1,000 men over to the same spot again. So we can so we can quickly take care of the asshole. I don't want him to be a problem. I like to take care of him early on in the game. So let's see, let's just keep uh, dropping him like, like from before. Increasing our true numbers. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Drill. Uh, uh, I think yeah. I think I've already emptied out the draft pool. So I'm just gonna drill for now. I don't wanna trade or do any of that stuff because again, I need I need to take care of him. He needs to, he needs to get out the way. <laughs> he needs to just get out the way. Okay. And then this two thousand. Okay. So that should that should empty the draft pool at Jingyan as well. So that should be good for now. Let's uh, end turn again. So now as, as you take a look at the map, you can clearly see that uh, Sun Quan has the majority of the land now. He has a, a ton of red down here. He has a lot of castles due, due to the fact that um, Wei has been divided into four smaller states now. So he has the upper hand and troop numbers. I still believe that uh, Liu Bei has the the better chance. Of when it comes to officers at least. Okay, come on. Because I believe that um, Liu Bei... He, he, only, only Guan Yu has died uh, so far. Currently as of in this scenario, only Guan Yu has died. Four out of the five Tiger Generals are still alive. Ma Chao, Zulong, um, Hua Zhong, and... Who was, who was the other one? That's all four. That, 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 and Jing Fei, obviously. <laughs> That's all four of them. Okay, I should have um, given myself a reward before I send myself out, because <laughs> the chance that I could uh, run away. Hopefully that doesn't happen. As soon as I get into the castle, I'll reward myself again. Anyways, let's just draft again. I don't want to use any more gold. Yep, draft again. Uh, oh, I mean, not draft, drill. <laughs> okay, drill again. Draft, draft. <laughs> oh, I suck at this, okay. Uh, drill, okay, perfect. Just waiting for the other, ar other armies to come to me. Draw over here too. Uh, I'm not gonna draw here. I'm, just, I'm gonna start trans transporting troops as quickly as possible. 11,500 down to P. 
king you want. Because after I take this castle, Jiangping, I'm gonna plan to go down here. I'm gonna plan to use this port, go down here and attack Beihua, capture it for myself. That's my plan. After I take care of that guy. So, all of my officers are used up. Oops, except for this, the very last one. So, let's see, his leadership is 32. His politics gets pretty high, so I'm just gonna trade. And that should be it, let's enter. So in this playthrough, Tuppy is... he's... pretty strange, he... Lost. Like, the last time I played, he, he he launches an attack deep, deep into the barrel lands for some reason. Which is pretty much futile. He gets repelled time and time again. I don't know if he's going to do it this time, but he might do it again. Let's see, our troops are moving now. One thing I do know for sure is that Liu Bei and Tao is going to be fighting for uh, Tian, Tian Chui up here. Tian Chui, for sure. They're going to be fighting for this. Just like in history. <laughs> Oh, I mean, not, not exactly Liu Bei, but Zhu, Zhu Ge Liang and um, Sima Yi. In history, I mean, in this mail, it's gonna be a tough year. And from my experience from the past, I know that um, Sun Quan usually attacks Liu Bei, but Liu Bei doesn't attack Sun Quan. Liu Bei focuses most of his troops up north to take Tuan Shui. Well, but we'll see. Let's see if he actually does that or he, if he changes his plan and, and tactics. So let's keep drilling. Oh, no, no, okay, well, let's, let's, actually, let's actually draft here to 15,000. Up here, I'm gonna draft a little bit more. 16,000, no, 14,600. Okay, good. No troops up here, like, like uh, 24. So let's just drill again. Just no, keep them, just make sure the troops are drilled. They, make sure that they perform well in battle. Uh, for here, we're just gonna draw. Nothing else I can really do. Again, go back to trade. Money is the most important thing. Next to um, your troops, your food. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not gonna be worried about these guys. Their loyalty is fairly high, low to high 90, so I don't want to waste any gold on rewarding them. There's really no point. Um, the last oh, oh, no, oh, I think I need this guy as well. Not even. <laughs> okay, well, recruit 1800, and I'll recruit the rest of the 200 next turn. Okay, and then I'm gonna I like my um. Long live the hard. Let's play. I'm gonna s send uh, officers out here to bring these troops from these ports and gates into the city, so I can use them as well. Those ports, they they hold no value to me at all. So I'm gonna do the same and bring those troops in. Anyways, let's watch our troops going to Beiping. Usually, when I play this scenario, uh, Cao Zhong gets conquered pretty quickly because he only has one city. But I could be wrong, this I mean this scenario can be completely different from the other ones I've played. Who knows? He may be he, he may become a dominant force due to all of this entanglement between you know, all of these all of these other factions that are surrounding him. Yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure the two brothers don't like him, but I don't know if they have the actual resources to fight him too. Because they are they have they have plenty of enemies. <laughs> okay. Turn what is it, four? Five? Well it doesn't matter. <laughs> Six? <laughs> okay, uh, since we've depleted our troops, well, I'm gonna just drill. Just keep drilling. Uh, up here I can actually draft, so I'm gonna draft. Let's see. Uh, 15,000, 10, that's 25. Okay, so these guys, are, their morale is dropping very low now, but it's okay, they're, they're almost there, so this shouldn't be a problem. I'm not gonna send, uh, I was gonna send an additional 10,000 troops back to Beiping, but I don't think they need it. My office, uh, my office is back here. Uh, these two armies are talented enough. I don't need any more soldiers. The officers would do the job. They would do the job. <laughs> so I'm, I'll, I'll send these troops. Yeah, I'll send all 15,000 troops to ping you on the ping one again. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to G. So I'm gonna recoup the 16,000 now. Drill again over here because war is impending. <laughs> Over there. Okay, and here let me switch from drill to straight up just have it, having everybody trade. Because I need some gold. My gold is slowly decreasing. 500 men up here. Okay, that's all of my troops. That's I me, mean, that's all of my officers. That's in turn. It's quiet, it, it's, it, it's usually it's quiet in the beginning of this, these, uh, this kind of game. But trust me, they're gonna be fighting a lot. <laughs> 
Lil Bay is going to be fighting Sun Tran, Sun Tran is going to be fighting Tal P, Tal P is going to be fighting Lil Bay, it's going to be crazy. Okay, fine, it's awesome. 30,000. Okay. okay, next turn. Let's, okay, so now let me lower my single officer. So now it's 83, that's pretty good. Let's drill again. Let's keep drilling. Oh, let's see if I can actually... I could sell some food to make some money back. Should I do that? No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna draw. Screw it, food is too important. I don't wanna use up the food. Sell all of my food. <laughs> not a good idea. So let's see. I need to bring up the I need to bring up the morale first before I can actually launch the attack. So I'll, I'll attack at let's see. When their morale he reaches 90. Cause it's not that far. I mean, if you just if you go back and we take a look, it's pretty close. It's not too far. Ask me here to there, so it's not too far. I can probably take the castle within like three turns. So yeah, we'll try that next turn. No, not next turn. Like two turns from now. Let's trade here. Uh, trade again over here. No officers up here. Understandable. Draft the rest of the 200 men. We have this last guy. Be called to. Oh, bye bye. Let's, do you have any other officers? The uh, Ping Yun gives us the So all the officers are used up. I have to wait till next turn to call the officers to the supports to bring the troops back in. So, yep. That's the turn. Next turn. There, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's there's no conflict yet. Everybody's just doing what I'm doing, what I'm doing, drafting, drilling. Getting the troops ready, moving officers around. Basically, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody's just you know, like good base trans transporting troops. Sinchuan is not doing anything. She's drilling. Most of the city morale are high. Oh, Top he isn't doing anything, anything either. Okay, next turn. Here we go. 40, 41,500 over here. Our troop, our troop numbers are slowly increasing, which is good. I mean, it's bad because it's draining up my food, but it's good that it's good that I have so much security around. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, no more troops up here. So let's transport these these guys as well. Ten thousand men to ping you on again. And let's drill one more time. Sixty-six. Let's see. It's at. The morale ping and troops increase to 77, okay. One more turn and go attack. Let's trade again. Money is very important. I need the money. Uh, let's just drill him. I don't wanna... I don't wanna do anything else. So I'm just gonna drill. Yep, that should be it for now. Oh, I still have a couple officers left in here. Idiot me. Stupid. Okay, let's check. Uh, let's check the warlord. So this, so Jushu actually has the highest um, intelligence out of all of us. I mean, we're tied. Uh, but Zong Yu, Zong Yao, does, his intelligence is not even as high. It's at it's only at 79. So I'm gonna switch it to Jushu since he has higher intelligence. I would take matters in hand. You will not be disappointed. He said, there was no doubt that the Honorable Yushu would be an excellent warlord. Yushu, the newly appointed warlord of the Taozi Sports. Perfect. So here I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just trade. I just, I need money. Let's enter. After this turn, I'm gonna drill one more time and then we'll, I, I, I will launch my attack. <laughs> Great, the officer has returned. Troops are being transported. Perfect. Yeah, I I, I believe that uh, Tal P is the luckiest one when it comes to officers, but he is the unluckiest one when it comes to strategic positioning. He is right in the, he is right in the middle. He needs sandwiched by everyone. <laughs> yes, and uh, pretty much everybody hates him. 
all of all of his brothers and all of, obviously the rival the rival, the rival kingdom so he is in trouble. Let's see if uh, Tuppy can actually pull out of this mess. <laughs> okay, let's uh, trade again. 16, 1600 now, perfect. So this guy's back, but he has no troops left, so I'm just gonna draw. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, here, there's only one guy left. Trade again. Uh, I guess that, okay, then. then I get that, and then I'm gonna go over here to Bema and send out these troops. Bring them back into Yi. I don't need them over here. It's just a waste of time. That's just 3,000 troops that's not gonna do anything. They're just gonna dive over a port, so... Might as well have them back in the city. Defending a larger, more port area. Let's then turn again. So, there we go. So he's in there already. Yep, there he goes. The ding I'm almost certain this guy's this brother's gonna attack him from the rear. Okay, so some trans army. So a port has fallen to their base. Some port over here. So it's nothing to do with me or anything that has to do. With, it doesn't have to do with me or the brothers. <laughs> it has to do with the other factions, but oh well. Thanks for letting me know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Next season, I have more money now. Perfect. Good. So before I do attack, let me just. Use some of the officers that I'm not gonna send out to battle. Oh, wait, this guy, he does have running, I remember. Yeah, it's not him. Oh, Jesus Christ, all of these officers have tactics I wanna use. Uh, I just used Wang Liang. Even though the, he barely did anything to the. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All, everything, every little bit counts. So it's gonna be Cao Zing, myself, and Guan, Guan Gu Jing. <laughs> Hopefully, I said it right. <laughs> Okay, so let's do running for both of us, and then let's do running for him as well. Everybody's gonna be using bow tactics. No um, spears, just straight up bows. I need to take care of this guy right away. So let's go. And just let's go and destroy him. 20,000 troops left at Beiping, so every, every single person has to fight. I'll send in 19,000. I'll leave 500 men, no, 1,000 men behind. Here we go, launching our attack. Launching our spring offensive. Perfect. Two armies. Um, 20,000, 19,000, so great. Now let's go back and manage our cities. Let's draft here. Draft here 3,000. 3, draft here again. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Made a mistake, it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, uh, doesn't matter. The more the merrier. There's draft up here as well. Again, like I guess I'm pretty sure uh, top people won't attack me, but just to make sure, he might. So I'm gonna increase the troops to 20, 23,500 men. There's a chance he might attack me from Lo uh, Loyang. He's 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 likely is not. Just w w just wait and watch. He's gonna be in a lot of pressure from Liu Bei, Sun Quan, and, and the other brother, Tang Tazi. So he's gonna be in trouble. So. I don't think he's gonna do anything stupid by wasting his troops on me. I mean, he might. AI, is, AI are unpredictable in this game. <laughs> but you know, whatever works. Whatever makes them, whatever makes them happy. I don't really care. Okay, this last guy will trade since his his leadership is just his support is alive. No, it's nothing. It's crap. Let's just let's just trade. <laughs> okay, great, great. Everything is in, everything is in order. Seven thousand over there. Two thousand over here. Three, three, five. Perfect. Okay. Okay, let's watch my troops march to war. Action phase. Troops, from this day on, our army treads a different path to that of Gong Su Gong. Gong Tao, Tao Zeng has declared one Gong Su Gong. So here we go. Two armies. Army Group A and Army Group B. Going for their onslaught. The fighting has started. Don't let down your guard, man. <laughs> okay, so he has inc he has increased his troop numbers to 21, 2100 is um, 2160, 21, 21,621. 
so that means that he will come out to attack me. But it's okay, my generals are really really strong. They will destroy his forces like nothing. They will <laughs> they will destroy him like a flock or like a farmer plowing a wheat field. Okay. Let's see, let's trade over here again like always. Uh, draft again. Okay, so I, I only have 100 men here, so I'm gonna draft to 100 men. Those 14, those 14 guys are the lucky few that can go home. <laughs> okay, uh, up here I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna, I'll just drill. I mean, though, their, their war is just abysmal. 15 and 11 and 1. Oh, well, I gotta use what I have. <laughs> again, I'm gonna drill. Not great, but no. The war is not great, but whatever works. This guy still has troops, so I'm gonna draft over here. 15. Okay, perfect. 7,000, 1,000. One guy left. He's he can repair, I guess. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. So let's go back up here and check the battle. So I'm, I'm more than sure that he's gonna march out to me now to my two armies. And there he is. Yep. He's marching 13,000 men out. And my sh my two armies should um, automatically attack him. Because I just set it to that, um, that. I just set it to that kind of things to where they will attack. So there we go. Attack is being used. So there goes Gong Su Gong. He's using his tactic first. Oh, what a monster you are, Kong Su Kong. Don't think this is the end. <laughs> that's nothing, that's a scratch. Oh, don't be so overdramatic. <laughs> Archers, central arrow speeding forth, running. It's our turn. This time we've been waiting. This is the time we've been waiting for. <laughs> Ready, running tactics. Combined tactics of the castle are not actually directed at him, so this is strange. But it's okay. If if the castle's taken, he still loses. <laughs> Urgh, tossing you devil. <laughs> that guy looks funny. <laughs> so, back to strategy phase. I'm going to direct both, both of my officers to attack him and not the castle. Attack him first, de defeat him, and then attack the castle. I want to make sure that um, I capture all of his officers, including Gong Su Gong himself, so I can deploy them and have them fight for me. They're not strong, but they can handle domestic stuff. So, that's something that I want. Like I said, every officer counts. Now you know the crap. <laughs> okay, let's go back and manage our cities. Uh, one officer over here, so let's just increase the troops to 13,000. No, let's uh, draft 1,300 troops. I mean, <laughs> okay, let's go over here. 13,500 is okay. I mean, I barely have any soldiers left, so let's not do anything. Trade. Okay, so no troops left. Let's transport troops now. Let's transport 2,000 men to Shangding. Shangding. And then let's go down here to Yi. Call an officer to who? From Yi. So I'll call, yeah, I'll call this guy. Yep, okay. And then uh, add uh, Ping Yuan. I'm gonna call an officer for Ping Yuan to, go, to come to this port. And likewise over here as well. And have them bring the um, the troops back into Pingyuan. Let's see. Let's drill. I, I guess we can use Jushu to drill. And this guy can draft again because I'm, for a fact he still has, he still has soldiers in here. <laughs> and Ning P. Okay. And then let's enter. That, well, well, before we do, let's uh, see if anything happens over here. Has happened over here. It is the next season already. Spring is the perfect time for war. I don't know why they're not fighting each other yet. They will soon. I guarantee you they will soon. And once they do, they won't stop. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Okay, so I guess they're not doing anything yet. Uh, so let's just go back to my area. We shall take this city! Move, move, move! I have no time for mere troops. Wow, this is a war of attrition. <laughs> so we are sp it's our turn again. Cowards of the Gong Su Gong unit, see yourselves what skills running tactics are like. 
Brasil Rock. Eu gosto do que é o professor do Brasil Rock. Damn! That's 2000 men, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty powerful tank. Urgh! This, this is the last, the last thing I was expecting here. What were you expecting? A picnic? <laughs> we're fighting each other for, for peak's sakes. Oh, come on, destroy him already. So it's, it's our turn again. Perfect. I thought it was his. <laughs> so his offers are really, really weak, as you can tell. They only use their tactic once. I mean, I have like six officers and he only has like two or three, but still, if he was a talented officer, the officer will use their tactics a lot. Like, if, if, if I play a scenario with Lubu, I, I shit you not, that guy, he constantly uses his tactics. You hear constantly. That guy would not stop. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Okay, so let's, um. I guess we could just go with uh, Wing Ling. Uh, 25. 20, 25. 25. Uh, I'll just repair over here. I need to repair my, my cities. You can see four, four guys to repair. Perfect. And then I'll drill with the rest of with the rest of them. Okay, good. Uh, Office has not yet to return, so let's go over here and eat. Uh, and who? Who? Uh, hopefully I've seen it right. Uh, and march the 1,000 troops out of this, this gate back into Yi. There's no need for troops over here. Okay, no officers over here. Oh, they got went the wrong way. Crap. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Um, I'll just... Trade, I guess. Don't want to drill. This war is just way too long. It's just not going to do anything. <laughs> okay, the officers are at their ports, their res uh, respective ports, so they will be called back into Ping Yuan. Bring your soldiers back into Ping Yuan. We are going to attack our brother soon. Well, we what my, my, my initial plan after taking Gong is to, to start to actually attack in a pincer. So it's what I mean by that is to attack from up north, up here, and from over here as well, and make a pincer here. So he'll be caught in between both of us, and he'll be in trouble. So let's see. All of the officers are oh, oh still this guy. He has not yet to have draft his troops, so go ahead and draft the troops. And oh, this guy up here as well. Is that all? Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7? Nope, oh, so that will make it. We'll just keep it at 1000. Great. Okay, 2300. Perfect. So every, every, every officer has done something. Perfect. Okay, so let's go to action phase now. This castle should be taken in two turns, if, in my prediction. Hurry, equip your bow, bows. Now our flying archery tactics will, will be put an end to this. Flaming arrows now. Flying, the strongest uh, force of archery tactics. So there we go, the entire unit has been wiped out. Urgh, th this is the last time I was expecting this. This was, the, this was the last thing I was expecting here. So all the troops are gone. That's why there was no troops left. Perfect. So let's attack. So they're, they're gonna attack the city now. The city sh could be taken by the end of the turn. But I could be wrong. It could take a whole other turn. But just see. We'll see if the, the, the tactics trigger. So there's already one tactics already. Two are you, are you already running tactics. Yeah, there's a chance that this shit city could fall before, before the turn ends. <laughs> 2297. Urgh, Tauzing. You devil! <laughs> 3009. Let's see, let's see, it's very close. And nope, I'm afraid of it. Yeah, guess it's gonna have to be one more turn. Honorable Tauzing. How should we deal with Gong Su Gong? I could kill him, but I'm just gonna release him. Don't imagine this this will happen again. <laughs> Your castle's under siege. You are about to return home. You are gonna get captured again. Don't boast about this kind of stuff, <laughs> my friend. Okay. Relationship with Tazi are not that good. We must be careful. I think it's dropped in uh, neutral now. God damn it, I didn't mean to go here again. <laughs> there we go. 
See, it is it is neutral now. It's no no longer actable. So I'm on I am on attack. I am gonna attack him soon. After I take the city. Okay. Let's see. Let's transport these troops out of here. There's no really no point of having soldiers up here now. That city is pretty much it's, it's pretty much ours already. 2200 men will, will go, go down to P1 as well. Over here, I'm just gonna repair. Perfect. Uh, I think I still have oh, only 14, obviously, the 14 lucky ones. <laughs> okay, drill over here. Trade over here is perfect. Okay. And over here, I'm gonna drill again, obviously, because I need to keep the morale high. Uh, draft the remainder of these troops as well. I'll take the last of the 300 men. Perfect, okay. 7,800 men. Draft again up here. Draft 500 men only. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Before we enter and take the city, let's check one more time to see if anything has happened. So something has happened. Um, Talzi, Tal Talzi has pretty much uh, he sent uh, one army already. Shahadun, probably straight for Hulagate. Gate. Um, I have a bet of money that and a force will come out of Luoyang to repel that uh, attacking army. Nothing down here yet. Let's see over here. Nothing over here as well. Nothing. Still pretty quiet over here. Little base still plotting. The perfect opportunity, <laughs> and so it has a. Oh, because this is the port that they were talking about that has fallen under Lubei's control, <laughs> right in the center of all. I mean, right around all the all the all this red. Oh, not lucky. Not not a good place to be. And Sun Quan hasn't done anything as well. Any actions, I mean. Okay, so let's go back to my area and then turn. Go on to action phase. <laughs> There we go. And this should this city should be taken before the turn ends, I'm sure. I am positive that I have full confidence that the officers will do their job and this will not take another turn. <laughs> there we go. Arrow at the ready! Close in on the enemy and overpower them with running tactics. Shoot at those bastards. Shoot at those bastards. Look looks like an any officer there's an area here with your name on it ah what is this I won't stop fighting so he has been wounded he got shot personally by Zhu <laughs> Guo this is the last this is the last this is the last thing I was expecting here <laughs> so we've taken the city Thousand so Zhongmin has brought the fall of Jiangping Perfect. So his force has been annihilated. Gong Su Gong's force has been pretty much decimated. We've entered the city. Perfect. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna employ the officers that are my currently my, my prisoners. So his health is light because he got shot by an arrow. <laughs> so let's just start recruiting. Perfect. Oops. Uh, nope. That won't work. That won't work as well. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Uh, that won't work. That won't work. That will work. Bay in. That won't work. Won't work. Won't work again. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the last guy. No doubt the officer is expecting such an invitation from us. This will work. I know I've played this game enough time to know which saying works and which saying doesn't. It gets re it gets repetitive, so <laughs> yeah. If you guys are like, "What the hell is he doing? <laughs> is he just guessing?" <laughs> no, I know. I I, I have a hunch. <laughs> okay, so let's uh let's just drill. Up. No, let's actually trade over here. Let's increase the city to a larger city because this little house is too small. I want it to be at least this size. So let's just keep drilling. So I'm trading and I'm farming over there. From here, let's. For this city, let's let's patrol. I'm gonna patrol. I'm gonna try to get the troops to 2,000 at least. 
I only have one officer up here, so I'm just gonna do all the gas. Uh, 400. 400 men is not enough. Let's just trade again. These two guys' wars is just too low. I don't wanna draw. They, they can draw. Perfect here. And he can draft again. I mean, he's out of troop now, so he can. I guess he can just trans start transporting his troops. 7,700 down to the other province as well, the other city, the one that I've been sending all my troops to. <laughs> and then this guy can out transport 8,000 men down to. You guessed it, down there. Again, this this city, these two cities are they are they, they they are a little weaker, but again, like I said, Top P isn't gonna attack me. He's already dealing with this brother. He's so Shahadun has been misled. <laughs> I wonder who by. So Top P is pretty much Top P actually is commanding um Hollow Gate. Him and a Juju, 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 and Top P. Okay. You serve Tao Tao well. Now you're serving his son. <laughs> okay. Everything is good. Let's end turn. But before we do, let's check one more time to see if anything else has happened. Has happened. So. 15,000 troops did take Tenchui. Lube, I'm, I guarantee you Lube is going to try to take it from Topi. The commander is Dei Yao. Commanding 15,000 troops. Tao Zing. Tao, Tao Zing. Where the heck is Sima Yi? I'm still, still wondering that. <laughs> He's here somewhere. I, I, I know. Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> He's right here. Yeah, Simayi. Talented, talented, talented officer. The only person who single-handedly, single-handedly defeated you. Gotta give him props, man. <laughs> the anti, the nemesis to Zhuge Liang. Okay, so let's end turn. Okay, let's go on to turn number two now. I have to quickly repair the city. Uh, a captive has no options. I was submitted to you. Okay. They must have caused this. I am at your. I'm yours to command. If it means avoiding death, I will put up with the great um, disgrace. So it was a success. All three officers did join me. See, I did. I, I do have a hunch. I wasn't lying. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So let's pick, um, employ the remainder of the officers. Oh no, nah, not everyone. I don't want. Hold on, I, I do have a, I do have a lot of gold, so I'm just gonna reward them all. Screw it. Yes, and again, I guess I'll deploy the last one, Gonsigon. Success is guaranteed, so there was, there was. <laughs> I know for sure that's gonna be a, a good to go, good to go. He's gonna join us. He's gonna join us. <laughs> uh, let's trade. Here we go. CDS increase in size. No more. No more. Just drill now, and I'm gonna take this port as well. And I'm gonna send an attacking force to take Beihua soon. Not, 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 not real soon, but soon. <laughs> okay, let's uh, trade over here as well. No, 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 no. Like I said, let's um, keep patrolling. I wanna get it to 2,000 at least. So it's at 2,000 now. Well, that was quick. <laughs> drill again up here. Trade over here. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, okay, now 79,000, no, 79 morale. Let's make sure it gets to 100. Okay, perfect. More for you, uh, soldiers are coming to reinforce. Going into uh, Loyang. Let's see. Other than the two, okay, now now Lube is attacking. Lube is sending a force of 42,000. We're 2,000 soldiers. Let's see who's coming. So the commanding officer is Zhang Fei. Siti, his style name, his uh, courtesy name. Sati, Zulong, and Han Sheng. Han Sheng is uh, Zhu Hua's courtesy name. And Wei Yang. Okay, so talk about his elite. <laughs> Wei Yun. Hang Zhong. Zhao Yun and Zhang Fei have four talented officers. 
I do not want to be the opposing force that has to fight that army. <laughs> hey y'all, you are in trouble. You better call for help. <laughs> Cause there's no way you're gonna be able to handle the um, three out of the f well, let's see. Yeah, three out of three out of the five tiger generals. So yeah, uh, let's see. Troops are moving down, perfect. Uh, once this is repair, I'll send troops to capture this port. And I just gotta keep drilling here. Alright guys, um, this is where I'm gonna end uh, episode 1 of my let's play of um, House of Tal. Join me for episode 2, where I attempt to backstab my brother in the, in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna backstab him. I'm gonna attempt to take Bei Hua from him. And as soon as I do this, he's gonna, he's gonna see me as an enemy. And he's gonna be really, really on my ass as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of um, kind of happy because he's already he already has an enemy over here, so it's gonna be pretty fun. Again, like I said, I've never played this before. I could muck it up. I could I, I, I could entirely entirely screw it up. I mean, once I get down here to where Wu is, I could potentially screw it up. If I mess up my relationship enough with Tapi, I could screw it up. So keep uh, keep watching the episodes, guys. It would be pretty interesting. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this episode. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, if you like, if you enjoy my content and you like these kind of let's plays in general, subscribe for more content. Uh, I will be playing more game, both old and new. So yeah, uh, thanks guys uh, in general for viewing my videos. Peace.